So, washing dishes. Got our non-slip mat laid down for safety. It tends to get a little wet over here with all the water being sprayed. This is your main tool. Spray the food debris off into the sink here. Here's flatware in a pre-soak. Soapy water or some sort of cleaning agent. Kitchen dishes, dining room dishes, glasses. Got to be careful you don't break anything in here. This is the standard rack. It has these pegs that are spaced pretty much perfectly apart to put kitchen dishes and dining room dishes on. If you get something that has a lot of food material in it, I mean, you could just dump it right into the dish sink, but you have a trash can here, so go ahead and just put it in the trash can. Now the idea is to fill the rack as full as possible without compromising the the dishwashing ability of the machine. You don't want to send a rack through with just one plate on it. That would be a waste of the dishwashing chemicals. So you push the rack in and it catches on a little conveyor belt and pulls it through. You're ready for the next one. Again, filling the rack as full as possible without overloading it. So dining room dishes, these would have food material and debris on them from customers eating. You would stack them in the rack in an orderly fashion. Filling the rack up. And then once the rack is full of dishes, then you would use your sprayer to spray the food material off and it falls through the, the rack down into the sink. This is your glass rack. It's got little compartments that fit glasses of many sizes. Once the glass rack is full, you would just send that one through, much like the other one, the other ones. This is your flat rack. Use this for silverware, ramekins, things like that. So once your pre-soak is full or they need silverware in the dining room, you just dump that right onto the flat rack. And send that one through. Now there is a industrial garbage disposal here, and the controls are located here. Green button, go. Red button, stop. If there's a lot of food debris building up in there. You can just grind it up using that. So on the other side of the dish, the dishwasher, as the racks are being pushed through, they just go out into this staging area. There's a little lever here, and when this area gets full, the lever gets pressed and the whole operation stops. That would be a good time to put the dishes away. There's also a sprayer on this side. If there were any residual soap or anything on, you could just spray it off. So the alternative to washing dishes in the machine would be your three compartment sink method. This would be ideal if you had like saute pans that have really stubborn food debris, melted cheese or rice or something stuck to it. First sink is soapy water, second sink is just hot water, and the third sink is a sanitizing solution. So it's pretty straightforward here. You wash the dishes 
in the wash sink with the soap. Make sure you, you know, wash every part of the dish, the bottom, the sides, even the handles. And once it's scrubbed well, it goes into the rinse sink. Once your wash sink gets, you know, pretty dirty, you'll just change the water out for new soapy water. Same goes for the other sinks. Although if you washed it correctly, the other sink should stay fairly clean. So they take a quick dip in the rinse sink. And then another brief dip in the sanitizing solution. Then go ahead and set them on a, a rack to drip dry. And before you put any dishes away, you'll obviously need to wash your hands. You know, you've been dealing with dirty dishes that came from the dining room possibly. So using the proper hand washing method, 20 seconds between the fingers, backs of hands, fingernails. A lot of times you'll have a second person in the dish area with clean hands who's just putting dishes away while one person is washing. So the dishes have drip dried, hands are clean. You go ahead and unload the racks, stacking like dishes with like dishes, obviously. It'll make it easier on you when you go to put it away. So one-sixth pan stacked with other one-sixth pans of equal heights. Dining room dishes, same story. Stack all these small plates with the rest of the small plates. And the large plates with the large plates. So glasses, coffee mugs, wine glasses. There's these rolling racks that you can stack multiple cup racks on so they can be easily moved around in the kitchen to where they need to go. Once this cart would be full or you were done doing dishes, you would just wheel it throughout the kitchen, putting everything away.